Okay, good morning, Everett. This is your principal, Miss Van Heron, and I'm excited to do a book review today for a book that I really enjoyed and really couldn't put down, and I finished it really quickly. Um, it's called Hurricane Song. Um, the author is Paul Vampani, and I would say the genre is realistic fiction. So it's a novel about um, uh, a story about what happened during Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. A lot of you might have heard of Hurricane Katrina. Um, it was a really big disaster and it had um, a lot of different stories happen during that time. And this is a story that isn't real, but it could be real. Um, and basically this um, kid named Miles, he lived in Chicago with his mom, but his mom got remarried and her husband's new kids moved into the house and he didn't have any space to live. So he ended up moving to New Orleans to live with his dad. But he doesn't know his dad that well, and his dad's first love is not Miles. His dad's first love is his music. And so Miles is kind of resentful of that. When all of a sudden, there is the, the warnings for the hurricane come, and they have to go and evacuate, and they end up in the Superdome together. And it's really scary. The weather is really, really, really bad, and there's all sorts of people there with no food and water. And Miles, in the meantime, has to rely on his dad to be safe, but he also really doesn't like his dad. Um, so, and what I loved about the story is that it real it wasn't a true story, but it really could be real. And the things that happened during Hurricane Katrina were really, um, really scary. And I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a passage that actually shares um, what actually did happen in the Superdome, and just see if you can imagine how strong the wind would be to do this. So. The Superdome took another solid hit of wind, and a section of the roof ripped right off. You could hear the rivets pop and the metal tear. Everybody was staring straight up. The hole was maybe 10 feet wide, and the sky behind it was black as tar. The second piece, just as big, flew off next. I could have stayed home and watched my own roof blow away, screamed some woman, raising her fist to the sky. Then the rain started falling inside the football field, making a puddle on the artificial turf. Some people ran down to the field with plastic bags so they could catch the water to wash with or drink. They were desperate. They were pushing and shoving for the best spots until a fight broke out. So the story takes place mostly inside the Superdome and you'll he he learn about lots of different things that happen. And you'll also find out what happens to Miles and his father in the end. Um, their relationship changes quite a bit through this experience. So I de definitely would recommend this book to anybody who's interested in New Orleans, natural disasters, or also if you have any relationship with your parents that um, you hope to get better, this might be actually a really good book to read. So I hope you enjoy it.